All right, I've showed you how to how to build an app where you can kind of the user can post information, um, and then all the all the posts that the users have put in, including you know different users on different devices. It all shows up here, and, and we're storing the data in a cloud on a Firebase database. Um, but one thing we don't have is delete. And if you'll notice, you know this first item, it should have said TP. It's a it's a typo. So we do want to give users uh, an ability to to remove posts. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And and to do it, we'll just add another screen. We'll we'll create an edit screen. All you'll be able to do is remove stuff. But um, anyway, we'll call it an edit screen. So I'm going to click on that little plus sign and I'm going to create this new screen. I'm going to rename it to the edit screen. Okay. And it's just going to have a couple items. It's going to have a label that's going to say some stuff and it's going to have a list viewer, you know, which is where we'll, we'll show all the, all the items. Okay. I don't want my list viewer to be that large. So I'm just going to make it, I'll make it pretty big though, like 70%. Okay, and that, this is where we're gonna show all our posts. And with this label, we're gonna say, um, choose an item to remove it. We'll just keep it pretty simple in terms of how this is all gonna, gonna work. Okay, so that's, that's what our, basically the design of, of our app is, is gonna look like. And, um, and we can add some more icons or text to for the edit screen, you know. But for now, let's just let's just make this happen. So I'm going to go over the blocks, and you know, when this screen opens, so I'm on a new screen, so I've got all new code. And when this screen opens, we kind of want to do the same thing that we do over on screen one. And I don't know if you remember, but when the screen opens on screen one. Um, we kind of do this code to kind of grab all the data. So I'm just going to copy at least part of this and I'll go back to screen two and I'm going to paste and then drag that in. Oops, sorry. I kind of dragged it out of its if block. So what I want that is when my screen opens, we're going to see if the the cloud variable, the list with all our posts is null. If it is, we'll put um, a default message in there. Um, but either way, we need to show our data in the list viewer. Okay, and I'm going to set list viewer to dot text items to. Um, I need to go grab post by user. Okay, and on the right here, it's still showing screen one you know, the, the first screen, it's not showing our, our, our second screen. So just kind of ignore that for now. So my edit screen should show my stuff when I get there. And I, now I need to handle the removal. And what I'm gonna do is choose the list viewer. And so when the user clicks on an item in the list viewer, so when they click on one of these items, um, we can we can get an event for that and that's when we're going to want to remove it you know we're, we're also going to put an alert up i'll show you how to do that in in the next video but in this video we're just going to remove it right when they touch it okay and so i'm going to go to lists and um we've used the the um insert block which is is this one but this time we're going to use this remove block Okay, so I'm going to grab that guy, and the list we want to remove, remove from is post by user. Okay, and when they click the list viewer, it tells you two things. One, what's the text of what they chose, and this other one, the index is the item number of what they chose. And in fact, this remove block actually wants the index. You, you, you remove by telling it the number of the item. And so we're just going to do that. And what that's going to do is take it, take that, whatever item they chose out of the database. And then we just need to make sure we, this is a, this is a key debugging issue. You know, make sure you also redisplay your, your data. Okay. So I think this is the behavior we need to remove. 
The only other thing we need to do is come over to screen one and we need to actually allow the user to, to get to screen, screen two. Okay, so I'm gonna add a button here and um, let's, let's not, we won't make it pretty to start, but we'll, we'll add this button in. And um, I'm just gonna move it down. I want it to be below the list viewer. Oops, sorry, I went too far. Um, it's always a little tricky to move stuff. Oh shoot, I think I stuck it into the edit screen. So, uh, sorry, I went too far. That's what I wanted to do. Um, but I need it below this list viewer. Okay, finally I got up to where I wanted. So, anyway, I'm just gonna say, um, edit, okay? And that's gonna show up on the bottom of the screen. And let's just bring up our app. Close your eyes as I put in my iPad password. And you'll notice there's a little edit button at the bottom. Obviously we could change that to like an edit icon or make it a little prettier. But when they click that edit button, what we want to happen is we wanna get from screen one to the edit screen. So I've gotta actually code that. And sorry, I'm gonna go back to the design and I'm gonna call this the edit screen button. That way I'll just know when I get to the blocks um, what component I care about. Okay, now when I get back to the blocks, I'm gonna grab edit screen button and when it's clicked, you know, going to the screen is actually pretty easy. Just go to the control block and there's this navigate and we're gonna wanna navigate to the edit screen. All right, so I think, I think we're set. Let's, let's try it out. So we've got a little bit of code in screen one and then in screen two, we think we've got removal code and code to list the stuff. So I'm just gonna click, touch the edit button on my test and it's looking pretty good. Uh, you know, it's not looking how we want it exactly, but it does show all the items and it says choose an item to remove it. All right, so I'm gonna just choose one of these items up here. I'll choose the top one and it's gone. There it is, it's, it's, it, it went away. So I think we removed it correctly. All right, and um, I think if I go back to screen one, oops, sorry, I just went out of the whole test simulator. Uh, ask me later. Uh, so let's just go ahead and rerun our live test. And you'll notice screen one, of course, when we rerun the app on the live test, it shows up and, and in fact, our item is, is removed. Okay, so we, you at least have the behavior working where we're deleting items from our list or the user can delete items from our list. We've got a new screen that shows some data. Um, you know, the next, in the next video, what I'll do is show you how to kind of clean up the way it looks. And we'll also add what's called an alert, like a little pop-up so that you can say, you know, warn the user, are you sure that you want to remove an item? And, you know, that's something you should always do with, with deletion.